Hey guys, good time for another video. This will be Power BI, engineering, progress, schedule, and more importantly, productivity. I wanna dive into the same dashboard I've showcased in the past. This was the construction progress schedule dashboard. And hopefully you guys have all seen this or some of the ideas behind what I've done in this dashboard. Uh, in the prior versions, it said construction prog construction status report. For this one, I've changed it to engineering status report. And you'll see why. A lot of the same concepts apply to both construction progress schedule and engineering progress schedule. But one of the key items that I had not included in the prior dashboard was productivity for spent man hours. And this one, well, I'm going to show you how you could add it using the same ideas. So. I've actually just hidden it. I've got a bookmark here and I can just go, oh, sorry, it's a selection. Let's go add it in SAP hours and a little label and also productivity. All right, so what are we looking at here? Same deal, we've got our project structure in a level one, level two, there is a level three WBS, but in this case for, I'm only showing two. And based on any combination of that, I can see how many hours I've spent. I can compare that to how many hours I've earned. And obviously the calculation for productivity is earned divided by actuals. So I get a productivity factor. And that is where a lot of power is to understand. Are you getting value for the hours that you have? Sometimes you can be well behind schedule, but you could be spending maybe no hours at all. And so maybe the value that you're getting from your man hours is a lot. In this case, 0.83, that's actually below the line, so it'd not be very good. But I wanna go into more how I've done this, how you can get these values in here. It all relates to the key of how you're gonna to link together your progress and how you're gonna to link together your timesheets because that's the really the, let's say the integration. How do we achieve that? So let's go look at my timesheets. I've already got it open. So in my timesheet system, well, this is just some dummy data, but in your timesheet system, you'll have some references. And here we just have a level one, a level two, and the key, the unique key that I wanna track on is just to, I've merged the two together. If you have a level one, level two, level three, level four, and whatever data you put into these fields, you can uh, merge them all together, but you need to make sure, are you tracking your progress in the same way? Are your schedule IDs keyed to that same level of detail as well? Because if you go to my progress table, here I'm actually tracking my progress to three plus another one. So it's actually three plus one. And how do I link it? Well, I need to create an SAP key in my progress data so I can link my timesheets to my progress. Here I'm only linking on a combination of level one, level two in the exact same way I have with my timesheets. In this example, I've not done it on my schedule, but in the exact same way, here it's just called something different, it's called area WBS type, but you can actually see this is the level one, that's the level two, that's the level three. So if I actually did wanna link my timesheet into my schedule, it would actually be, in this case, a merge of those two, uh, and then you can bring the two together. What you're gonna look at still, this is why you wanna do it in Power BI is because of this just dynamic, you know, click, click, click. I can do any combination of any WBS. I can look in, you know, my level ones. I can do my level twos by WBS. I can see exactly how much I've spent. I can see my productivity, can see my earned. In your histogram, I've not done it on this dashboard, but you can actually insert a histogram to see the weekly spent hours. It's actually pretty easy to do. Here, the black bars are the histogram of my earned, and I'm comparing my earned against my plan, and the little light gray ones are my forecast. And this is some of the, the differences that happen. Because when we talk about forecasts, are you looking at your forecast of earned hours, or are you talking about the forecast like staffing plan, labor's, labor hours going forward. And when you do these 
progress and schedule views, sometimes you're really only focusing on earned value and progress. But if you put on the other cap where you're looking at you know, project management or commercial management, you do need to know how much am I actually spending and what is actually going to be my forecast spend to get it to 100. You know, there might be, I might be doing great now, but you could actually foresee that, oh, I've got a, a problem where this remaining scope is going to cost me 30,000 man hours. You don't know, but maybe you've built a staffing plan that showcases that and you would be able to see that there'd be a big um, spike in forecast spend man hours and then you can analyze your say productivity factor to go into comparing well how many hours do I need to finish the rest of my scope so anyway those are just some quick ideas of well honestly just how you put in spend hours into the dashboard how you look at it how you could calculate the productivity this is just a measure uh, it's just a measure in my progress all I can open it up what are we doing? I'm just summing another measure, which is hours earned to date. And then I'm just dividing that by the sum of my timesheets. Cause I'm just assuming that my timesheets are up to the same, uh, the same data date. I'd have to put a filter on them if uh, there's a different data date. But anyway, it's not a, I didn't want to really want to get too much in the, the measure calculations, but that is one of the intricacies of Power BI. You really can't make effective Power BI without understanding how are you going to generate uh, calculated measures to have uh, nice visualizations. Anyway, hope you guys have good projects. Hope you guys are doing good stuff with Power BI. Uh, I love this stuff, and there's so many different ways you can skin the cat. And I'm sure we're all out there doing good work. So anyway, hope you guys liked the videos and subscribe. And maybe I'll make another one next year. All the best. Thanks, guys.